Yo guys, I'm Yellow, the Norwegian Hardcore PC Gamer, and today I figure that we should talk about the new Inferno uh, that I'm playing right here. Uh, this uh, I played on stream the other day, so you guys should probably follow me on Twitter, Twitch, or Facebook if you want to n get a notification whenever I am streaming. Uh, but aside from that, though, uh, I really enjoy this map. Uh, all the new elements to it, and that's aside from Valve balancing out a lot of the things related to simplifying the map, but still making sure that um, it will be decently difficult to play. The best examples will be three things. Uh, as I hear, uh, move past the closed bedroom. They remo remove the bedroom so you can't really play in there, which is okay. They simplified a lot about the pit section and the graveyard on the A site, and that's aside from the A site itself being a little bit more open and sleek, um, even though again, everybody are missing that lovely roof up there, so that's kind sucky. Um, the B site itself is also simplified, especially when it comes down to skill moves there, as in uh, doing uh, two, three jumps in order to get to a good position. Uh, they've removed that as well. And while that on its own is a really bad thing to do by Valve, they have in fact balanced it out by adding random ledges every now and then. Uh, one here on short on the A site, um, the one that you can get up on on the uh, on the CT spawn, and there's also one at the B site entrance to the right if you're running through banana uh, that you can see and you can stand on there. Um, in which I find that to be a pretty good thing because of how it does balances out a lot of the problems that comes with making a map more simple. Now that's aside from cleaning up the map, but also making sure that the map have a lot of fucking details that have no impact on actual play. The best example will be the, your frame rate, literally, okay? So when I was streaming um, the other day, uh, I was streaming all of these games by the way, so if you see uh, me hitting some crazy shots, believe me, they weren't that crazy when I was streaming them. But fact is that the frame rate in middle is really shit. I only get 140 FPS when I am playing, which feels really laggy, which uh, I've made scientific videos about, so I don't really need to explain that. But fact is that that in general, the 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 triple A developer new fucking trend of adding way too many details, thus declining the frame rate, in which have no actual impact on the game except for me playing like ass. That's bad, and especially if you want to have an eSport that is supposed to flourish, uh, get more uh, enthusiasts playing it, or having more customers in general uh, playing said game, if you then make it so that the game is more difficult to play, while you are in fact thus pushing more hardware sales, as in people upgrading their computers, you are hindering me from fucking playing, and also, in my scenario, producing content related to this new map. So that as a theme, really, the AAA developers gotta get this shit sorted out. If not, they are going to shoot themselves in the foot once again long term not that I think they care too much though because in the now everything is looking pretty good with this map and I gotta say that's just me being honest uh, I don't I, I'm not personally a fan of the color palette but it looks nice it looks really spicy and for people that really kind of need that and they maybe like let's say that you're playing on a very uh, dark and dim map like the uh, or not completely like but similar to the previous nuke the previous train and the previous inferno some people might not find that to be a good thing. Personally, me though, I am a metalhead, so I don't care. I would rather a map be gritty and epic instead of being uh, like spicy, modern, and super colorful. But anyways, that's just about taste. That doesn't really matter too much. Fact though is that Valve have done a really thorough job with this new map. Everything except for uh, removing maybe some details that have no impact on the frame rate because of how the frame rate goes down to like 100 FPS if I want to do some deathmatch on the map, or 144 or 140 if I look through mid. Um, that's with me streaming, obviously. So. There's some extra strain there, but fact though is that Valve have done a really good job with this map, so hopefully this will replace a new nuke, uh, so new Inferno can dominate instead, in which, uh, you know what, you guys should probably take this map for a spin if you want to have fun uh, playing CSGO again. Anyways, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for the lovely support, thanks for liking this video and or subscribing if you have not done already. Here are two related videos if you want to get smarter or better at CSGO. Uh, that's aside from me recommending you guys to following me on Twitter or becoming a Patreon if you truly want to support this channel. That is where you get lovely perks and all that other lovely juicy stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and don't get beastified when you play.